I dare say that is almost a perfect shade match. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stevie, the smile behind Stevie M. Starks. I'm super excited because today we are reviewing a brand new foundation. Actually looks just like this. How cute is this? box this is the actual look of the urban decay foundation that we are going to be reviewing today the pr package included their face bond triple power foundation their all-nighter long-lasting makeup setting spray a cute little purple sponge and two hair clips if you don't know purple is one of my three favorite colors so when i saw that purple sponge i was like that is so cute this is the foundation that we're going to be trying on today it is urban decay's face bond self-setting waterproof foundation that's a lot to claim <laughs> but we are going to be trying out at least the self-setting part i am not going to be applying any primer to my skin i literally just have my skincare on my skin i really want to test out this foundation without any primer to see how my skin looks at the end of the day if my oils come out just all of that we're going to do a wear test i'm actually doing this while the baby's sleeping so that's perfect then i'll come back when I put both of the girls to sleep and to see what my makeup is actually looking like. But here's some things about this foundation. It has 40 shades, y'all, 40 shades. That is absolutely amazing. And I'd say about half of those are targeted towards people of color. So I absolutely love that as well. They have a great shade range. This is also priced at $40. You can get it on Sephora's website or on Urban Decay's website. Now I'm just gonna to read to you the other things that they claim this foundation does. It says, this lightweight medium coverage foundation for sensitive skin is non-comedogenic with 3% niacinamide to improve feeling of skin texture and minimize appearance of redness, acne scars, blemishes, and pores. Its self-setting powder reduces shine for a blurring, natural matte, smudge-resistant finish. That's a lot to claim, y'all. Not only that, it's supposed to help skin texture improve after four weeks. That is great. Now we're gonna get into the application of this foundation. My shade that they sent me is 33 Deep Natural. This is what it is looking like. I have never seen anything like this before. This applicator is just so unique and so small, which I think will help me glide the foundation onto my skin. Before I actually apply it to my skin, they say it's three ways that you can apply this. For full coverage, they recommend using your fingers. For medium coverage, they recommend using your favorite foundation brush. And for light coverage, they say use the sponge provided. Since they provided the sponge, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a sponge and not a brush. So let's see what it's looking like I'm only going to apply let me rub my sunscreen in <laughs> I'm only going to apply it to this side so that I can compare what it looks like on this side okay let's see what this is looking like Right off the bat, doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin for a foundation. This is very lightweight. Like really all I feel is the sponge. I dare say that is almost a perfect shade match. It says this is buildable. Wow, it definitely blurred my skin. Wow. It definitely blurred my skin. This is what this side looks like. And this is what this side looks like. And it definitely even my skin tone out. They say this is buildable, so let's just put one more layer of foundation on.
That's two layers of this foundation applied with a sponge. This is without, and this is with. First impressions with the half of my face done. It is very mattifying, but it's not drying, which I love because I, I have oily skin. The shade match is almost perfect. I'm thinking that it's a tad bit, a little bit more, but I'm still loving it. I love the finish because I said I'm oily girl, so I'm not getting shine at all especially since this is supposed to be self-setting. I'm not going to set this foundation, okay? <laughs> this kind of freaking me out because I am an oily girl, but I want you to see what this looks like without any other oil controlling products. So now I'm gonna do the rest of my face. They say with applying it with the sponge, it's supposed to be light coverage. It's doing a darn good job covering up my dark spots with light coverage. I would even say this is medium. So this is what my face is looking like with the foundation. I'm loving the finish. The shade match is great, okay? It is, I dare say perfect. Now that I've done the whole face, it looks great. Now we're gonna see how well this blends out with other products. But like I said, I am not going to be setting the foundation. I will set the concealer under my eyes because that's just what I do. But I'm not gonna even do any setting spray because this is supposed to be self-setting. So let me do my, the rest of my face, show you the finished product, and then come back after probably five or six hours. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this is all my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances, they are nothing for us I like it all with the cherry on top Be one of the things I love Move so fast, baby. I will show you how you can catch my vibe. And right away, I so much time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this is all my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances they are nothing for us I like it all with the cherry on top Be one of the things I love The things I love, the things I love Your love, like everything that has a cherry on 
love tap Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust Not the second chance I say I'm nothing for right I like it all the gentiles Be one of the things So this is the finished look. I'll link everything that I used in the description box. Now I'm gonna keep this makeup look, not retouch it at all, and then come back after I put the kids to bed. That should be in about six to seven hours. Okay, I am back. It is 10.04. So I have had this makeup on for almost seven hours. Yeah, almost seven hours. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I am tired. Really didn't do anything crazy today. Went and picked up my oldest daughter from school. Went outside, played a little, ate dinner, got the girls ready for, ready for bed, put them to bed, ate some dinner, and now we're here. So like I said, nothing too crazy, but. So this is what my skin is looking like right now. I really think that my face just looks really glowy, not super, super oily, which I'm very impressed because I thought I would be looking a hot oily mess right now. I mean, I would not want to wear this without a primer or a setting spray, but for not having applied either of those, it does not look bad. Now, let me take my glasses off. You can see, especially where my glasses were, like separating of the foundation and some enlarged pores, like right here. But if I didn't wear my glasses, I really don't think this part would be as shiny as it is right now because I only set under my eyes because of the concealer and the rest of my face looks really good. It's really just my T-zone. And even my T-zones aren't that shiny. You can see some shine right here and where my eyebrows are. But like, this is shiny, but it's not super shiny. Like, I thought I'd be like very, very oily without setting it or primer, and I'm not. Which means to me that this foundation would work perfectly for a normal or dryly skin girly in my opinion. I absolutely love the way my makeup looks, minus the shine. My makeup has not budged, okay? Has not budged at all. It is so pretty. The finish is still very pretty. And I will say, another reason why I might not have as much oil as I thought I would be is because with this foundation, since I knew it was self-setting, I didn't want to put a lot of creams on my face because I knew that if I put creams on my face, for some reason when I put creams on my face, oil comes out even more. So I did not put, the only cream I put on my face was the concealer. That was a cream consistency and then I set it with powder. But my bronzer was powder, the blush was powder. So I think that helped control some of the oils in my skin. But I'm loving the way this looks with those products. I'm even more excited to see what this foundation looks like if I would have used a primer and a setting spray. So I'm gonna be doing another video just to compare what both of these outcomes looks like. But that's it you guys. Now I'm about to take this makeup off and go to bed. Let me know below in the comments if you would wear this foundation alone or do you feel like you would have to wear a primer or a setting spray? Okay, love you, until next time. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I got